Welcome to the new Franklin County Forensic Science Center. My name is Dr. Anahi Ortiz, Franklin County Coroner, and I'd like to take you through a very short, informal tour of our facility. Planning for this facility was begun in 2014, and the actual construction was started in 2019. Construction was finished by May of 2020, and our agency took approximately three weeks to move all together into this building. First of all, the building is approximately 58,000 square feet, which makes it three times larger than our previous facility on King Avenue. You'll see a great deal of floor to ceiling windows, giving us uh, a, a lot of natural light to work with. We have ample parking for the public, and we have electric car charging stations also for the public. On the west side of the building, we have entryway for deliveries, for the staff, and for funeral homes. Our staff parking lot also has electric car charging stations. Our funeral homes, we've uh, developed their own entryway into the building. They have their own path, which leads them into a covered bay area from the west side of the building down to the north side of the building. And one of the first things that you'll notice is the natural light. We have a great deal of natural light going through the building, giving folks a sense of warmness, a sense of calmness as they enter the building. The building also has light wood plank throughout. Here is the waiting room for the public. And in addition, we have a special private conference room for the public and for our staff to meet with the public uh, when they need to discuss their loved ones. So the lactation room is part of the initiative uh, to be certified for LEAD. We are being considered for a silver LEAD certification at this time. So now, why don't we go to the main thoroughfare of the building and we can see a little bit more of the inner workings of the Franklin County Forensic Science Center. We're in the main artery of the building and for your information, this is a highly restricted area so you're getting a sneak preview. Um, down this thoroughfare, down this artery, we have um, the offices of the forensic pathologists going down to investigations on this left side and to our right is entrance into the morgue area. We're in the forensic pathologist space and this is where each one has their own offices. We have offices for six forensic pathologists. We have space for medical students, for residents, and for fellows. We even have an office for our epidemiologist. This center table is used for our pathologists to review cases. The microscopes can actually project onto the screens. We're in the medical death investigators section of the building. Um, we have capacity for all our investigators and interns, each one with their individual cubicles. In the previous building, we actually had a small room where four investigators would have to share this, this pod area crowded in there, and now everyone has uh, space. We have room for their equipment. We have charging stations. We're in the morgue area, and one of the features that we're really proud of here is the observation deck. Access to the observation deck is by stairs or by an elevated ramp for those who need accommodations. We have three huge windows from which you can observe autopsies without actually being in the room. And this is our main autopsy room. Uh, it is a uh, capability for six 
autopsies at one time, which is a marked difference from our previous uh, facility where we can only do two in what we call the large room. This room is um, special in that it is a state-of-the-art autopsy room. Each station, we have dry boards, um, we have individual scales, it has a monitor and keyboard to take down all the information. This is autopsy suite number two, and it has a capacity for two autopsies at one time. We use it for decedents who are decomposed and also for certain infectious diseases. And this right here is our imaging room. It is seated between the two autopsy rooms. Currently, we have a portable x-ray machine, but we are waiting on a CT scan which will have the cap capability to do uh, virtual autopsies and we will have something called a low dox uh, machine. We will have probably uh, one of the best uh, imaging uh, rooms in, in uh, corner offices in, in forensic centers for the state of Ohio. Right here is where our decedents are either brought in or released. This right here is a scale. All decedents are weighed when they come in. This is one cooler, and behind us over there are two more coolers. We have capacity for approximately 150 decedents here. Looking at the old facility, we had maximum capacity in the old facility for 60. So this is a major improvement uh, for Franklin County in terms of our morgue service. So now we're in our Bay Area. This again is where our funeral homes will come in to pick up decedents. It was also created in case of a mass fatality situation. We have capability for huge trucks to come in here and provide a uh, portable uh, cooling systems for decedents if we run out of capacity in our morgue area. It gives us privacy in the situation of a mass fatality where we can store decedents, where we can bring the trucks in and give the decedents, give the families of the decedents a respectful place for, for them to rest. We're in our incredible forensic toxicology area. This is two to three times larger than the toxicology uh, lab that we had in our King Avenue facility. It also includes new equipment. The space includes offices for, for all separately in the back, their own conference room, and their own library. The room next door is what they call the dry lab, and that's where the special equipment that's used in forensic toxicology. And in this room, this is the wet lab, and this is where they have their hoods, their pipettes, their uh, beakers, etc. We're in the conference area of the building, the grand conference area, and I just want to take a few seconds to talk about the chairs. These two chairs came from our original building on King Avenue, and they have been at King Avenue since the morgue, since the uh, coroner's office on King Avenue was created in the 1970s. So, so these are very, very special to everyone here. So here we are in uh, the Grand Conference area. Um, has, again, state-of-the-art uh, systems in here. We have shading systems that create a blackout situation, a partial shading system, or opens up fully. Floor-to-ceiling windows, natural light streaming in, huge screens, podiums, various types of audio systems here. The facility does hold approximately 100 people. Right now we're in part of it. We can actually divide the, the conference room into two separate rooms for smaller conferences or smaller meetings. We're back in the front of the building and this is the end of our tour. I want to thank you for taking the time to look. Um, 
And if you have any questions at all, go right ahead and email me at corner.franklincountyohio.gov. And I hope to see all of you or some of you in the future when we do have live tours in our building.